Hey guys, it's Ava. This is just going to be a really quick video on tadpole care. Now, my tadpoles here are just your average pond tadpoles. Probably some grass frogs and some bullfrogs in there. Notice they're pretty small, so they don't really need that big of a habitat. So I just have this little critter keeper. It's about one gallon, and it's perfect. It fits them perfectly. Alright, first things first. When you're setting up your tank, you need to have about half the water. Fill your tank about halfway up. So they really need to, they really thrive in that shallow water. So that's really what they need. As you can see, I have some substrate down here. It's just some um, aquarium gravel. Just your basic colored fawn aquarium gravel. You can put whatever kind of substrate you want. You could even like put sand if you wanted, but I prefer the gravel because it's not too much of a mess because they do produce a lot of waste when they're eating and I think it's just best and it's low maintenance. So you want to have some plants as well. I have one artificial plant right here. I have a rock and then I have a plant that I got from the pond right there which they really love. You want to make sure you have a little bit of that pond water inside of your tank if you've caught them. That way they'll still be used to the water. Now. I have about 13 tadpoles in here, and um, they're pretty pretty small, so I would say for every tadpole, which they're not even an inch, I would say for every tadpole, you just need a few inches of water, so you, if you only have like a few, you could just keep them in something as small as a water bottle if you wanted to, but it's not really that much recommended. So for feeding, what I like to do is I like to take lettuce, and I boil it for about... 15 minutes and then I chop it up into really really small pieces on a cutting board with a knife and then once it's all really finely ground up and chopped then I'll put it in the freezer in a little plastic baggie and then I freeze it for 24 hours and then I take it out the next day and then I let it thaw for about 10 minutes and then they have their food. So they really love that because it's really close to the algae that they eat because it's all squishy. Um, you can even put some algae from the pond in there if you really wanted to, just to help them grow more. Um, also, if you don't want to take the time to actually prepare that lettuce for them, um, I have lots of fish, so I typically sometimes give them freeze-dried bloodworms. And since these are freeze-dried, they just float and they're just really nice and airy, so they love it and it's good to get them used to it because when they are frogs they will be eating worms and stuff stuff like that. Also what is it's not so much recommended but it still will keep them nice and healthy is if you just use like tropical fish flakes or goldfish flakes if you want. Um it does keep them nice and healthy but it's not plants so it's not that much recommended. But I think the easiest thing to feed them of all are top fin algae fins. These are for like these sucker fish and um, any other algae eating fish and it's usually intended for large aquariums so I feed it to my fish and they absolutely love it. This is the probably the best thing you could get for tadpoles. It's algae and it has minerals and it's just full of the nutrients and calcium that they need. Um, it's perfect and they come in pretty large sized bags and there's a lot of them in here, so that's highly recommended. Now, one complaint that people have been like, oh my gosh, all my tadpoles are dying right when I put the water in, what do I do? That's because you're using tap water. Um, tap water, it's not recommended. You can use it, but they probably won't live long, and they probably won't be able to go through metamorphosis that easily. So what I do is I put tap water in, but then I use Tetra Instant Aquafix Plus, and this is like the perfect thing to use if you don't want to use spring water or bottled water because that's too much of a hassle I think. So you just take a little bit of this, put a little drop of that in there, a few drops, and then it instantly just clears it of all of those gross chemicals that are in the tap water so none of your tadpoles or fish will be harmed. Now, I think this is a pretty good analysis of how to care for your tadpoles, but um, just a quick overview, when your tadpoles start to get their legs, especially back legs first, um, you'll notice that they'll be trying to swim, and they'll be pushing with their legs, 
when you're trying to hop through the water. You want to lower some of the water by that point. I'm probably going to lower like an inch or two of water about here because they can actually drown um, because they still have their tails and it's hard for them to move with just their back legs because they'll be just pushing along. Once they get their front legs though, you can take out even a little bit more of the water depending how, how big your tadpoles are. If they're like those huge tadpoles like that big, you still want to keep a lot of water. But if you just have your general typical pond tadpoles like these, they'll stay this size. So take out most of your water and then just put some land spots in. So I'm just going to put some pretty big rocks probably right here, make the substrate and slant so they have some land to get used to. So um, I think this was a pretty good video. So um, I hope that this helps you care for your tadpoles in the future. And it is tadpole season, so have fun at the pond. And I hope this helps. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.